One Valley band has kept people dancing for more than a decade. That's right, and now their unique sound getting them a very special honor. Los Delta Boys are this week's Made in the 956. If you've been around the valley long enough, you might recognize Los Delta Boys and their unique sound. The band's been playing locally for more than a decade. I sat down recently with two of the four Delta Boys, Jaime and Turi. Jaime taking me back to how it all started with just him and his brother. We were both playing for uh, touring bands and uh, we were never home. You know, we were always out touring and stuff. So, you know, we decided to to make something here locally where we can be home and work a full-time job and just pretty much make it as a hobby. Duty eventually joined the band too. I think the band had been together already like two years. And uh, Jaime, Jaime called me one day and he's like, hey man, you know, uh, I don't know if you're still playing. Turns out Thudi was still playing, and Eddie Gonzalez rounding out Los Delta Boys. The name of the band, an ode to the 956. So the Delta Boys, where that comes from, is um, here here in the valley where we live at Calchelsa, La Villa, Monte Alto. It's called the Delta area because it's like a triangle and everybody goes like to the same school and stuff. So that's where the Delta name comes from. Over the years, the band soaring in popularity, largely in part to social media and their unique sound that they say can make anyone dance. It's accordion based, right? Uh, of course, it comes from the traditional stuff, you know, the, from the, the fathers of Conjunto, like Narciso Martinez and, you know, the ones Jaime mentioned, Ruben Bella, Tony de la Rosa and stuff. But, uh, you know, we it, it's, a, it's evolved. And so now we're getting to incorporate a little bit of our influences, our flavors, you know, so, I mean, above all, I guess it's very accordion based. And diverse. And diverse, yes, sir. That sound getting Los Delta Boys inducted into the Tejano Roots Hall of Fame. It's a very good feeling because when you go to this museum, you know, you have big, big artists on there and, you know, we're being posted right next to them. It's still like an overwhelming feeling because when, you know, as a kid, I just wanted to be a musician. I never saw any awards or accolades or recognition or anything. I see it as a way of saying thank you to those people that have supported us, you know, from the very beginning. Los Delta Boys, made in the 956. Really cool guys there. They got, gave me a nice Los Delta Boys hats. And one thing that really stood out from them is yeah. that, you know, they, they had a love for music and it started off as, as a hobby for them. Mm -hmm. And just to get recognized, you know, it's good to get recognized for your work, but for something that started off as a hobby and just a love and to get recognized for that in such a big way, it's just a big honor for them. Yeah, I need to hear some more of their music because it sounded pretty good. It definitely gets you. Know, you know, I mean, it's not my style that I usually yeah. listen to all the time, but I was doing the story and kind of, you know, jamming I was going out. to ask, do you know how yeah. to dance that kind of music? Yeah, I do not. My parents, though. We my have to teach you. My parents do love it, though. You're in and Texas. You need, know, to know how to know. you need to know how to dance Tejano music. It's Valentine's Day. Take me out today. Okay, Bam, I will there do. we go. All right.